What's up guys, Jamie Bond Fish Blue Water. I got Captain Chip Sheehan, Nick C to my left. Chips Ahoy Charters. We just came in from a day of fishing on the Real Synergy, caught some sails, but we also caught some bonitas. These guys are gonna show you how to turn bonitas into beautiful bonita strips with dolphin, kings, wahoos. Check it out. We got some bonita today. We're gonna make some strips. So when we go trolling, whether we will go wahoo fishing, dolphin fishing, or, or king fishing, we'll have them ready to go. And there's nothing, the fresher it is, the better that it is for, you know, for a bait. Uh, pretty much every, anything you fish for. When we're trolling, we're, we always have to have good strips. Right now, we're just thinning them out, getting them re prepped and ready to where we're making them into our baits. And if you're going to freeze them, you want to freeze them like this, and you want to put them skin to skin and you want to salt them before you freeze them, you know. And if you're not, if, if, so a lot of guys like, I, I like to fish them fresh. If I'm fishing the next day, I wouldn't put any salt on them at all. The king fishing is dead. That's Why how you want, it? just like that. That's going to have some good action. That's some really good flow to it, and it will flutter really nicely. Well, the most important part you want to know is the back end of the fish, the tail end, is going to be the front end of your strip. It's the grain of the meat. The grain goes from tail to head. So you want to start there. Next thing you want, when you cut the fish, you want it at, you want to cut it at an angle so it has a doubled edge, so the meat's not hanging out over the skin. Why is that? Uh, it just washes out. It's not going to look as good. Okay. Uh, so basically, we're going to start here, start on the tail end, cut at an angle. Nice, smooth, beveled edge, and just round, round the, uh, round the strip off there. And we'll come in on the other side. Same thing. Back around, right to the point. So now these, the that you guys are is this like the ideal size for like pulling strips on the reef and stuff? Yes, absolutely. The bigger ones are... They get mushier. <laughs> and they're a lot harder to cut. We're not looking for a for a huge strip too, because most of our fish in blackfin tuna is kingfish. So we'll cut, most of them are going to be smaller and we'll get a couple bigger ones for, for wahoo strips. I like a mahi fishing uh, in the summertime. I, I love fishing strips on like a chugger. And then when you, when you, when you take the, the excess meat off, we take all the excess meat and we'll chunk it all up. So when you pull up on something, you have fresh bonita chunks to be able to throw. Yeah, that's a good idea too. So really, you get you get a lot out of a bonita. Yeah. How long on ice? Um, as far as before you would need to freeze them, you know, for fishing purposes. You really don't want them on ice. You want them on like a tray. Or you just really want them not exposed okay. to the water at all. Yeah, that's a key thing. You never want these things to actually touch fresh water, whether it be ice that's or really actual nice. water, because that water it'll, it, it'll it actually cooks the meat. The cutting how blade many, how works. Strips, uh, chip strips, chips. Say that three times fast. <laughs> How many strips, like out of this size bonita, do you typically get? I uh, get like should be able to get four or five a side. Four or five a side. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Make sure you remember to like, comment, and subscribe. The only thing that we could ask is that you just help us grow the channel. We want to reach more people. Uh, we're excited to bring these new videos every week on Thursdays for you guys. So make sure you tune in, check your notifications. Hey, if there's something specific you'd like us to cover, something you want to learn or something you want to see, hit us up. Throw a comment on one of the videos or you can reach us at info at bluewatermovements.com. But until the next time, we look forward to seeing you next Thursday at Fish Blue Water.